Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm going to be doing another layout today using a bunch of scrap pieces of paper. I do have a background piece and then all the rest of them are scraps that I'm going to be using up as much as I can on here. And I'm going to be using this a four by four, I think this is a four by four, let me double check. Um, picture here of me and my sorority sisters and this is going to go in my sorority album. Um, sorry, this is a three by three. It's a little bit bigger than a three by three. Um, but it's a picture of us in our jerseys. As you can see, the shirts we're wearing, those were called jerseys. And we had specific days that we would always wear our jerseys. So I want to do a page about that to go in my album. And I'm going to be, like I said, using up a bunch of scraps. And then I'm also going to be using a sketch from Jen Scowl and Tracy Claiborne's, um, sketch class which is called ready sketch go i'm going to be using a sketch in volume three there's three volumes in that class right now there's um you know they're three separate classes and then i'm think that they're going to have a fourth round coming out i believe in march there haven't been any specific dates yet but i think that's their goal so i'm really wanting to go back and make sure i make all these pages that i've already sketched out from the inspiration from those sketches so i'm going to be doing that here so i'm kind of combining two classes the ready sketch go and the zap your scraps because i'm going to be using a bunch of these scrap papers and i pulled this while i was watching jen's class about using up your scrap papers in creative ways so i'm kind of doing a two for one here in this one <laughs> Um, I will not be showing you the sketch, obviously, because that is a paid content thing, but I highly recommend both classes. I will put a link to Jen's class page um, of all the classes that are available that she has done so far, and um, I'll leave a link to that down in the description, but it's fantastic. I can't recommend them highly enough. I get so much inspiration from those. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this layout. All right, so I have a whole bunch of scraps here and I am going to do something fun with them. I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a collage in the middle of it. I do have this background paper here and that is from a crepe paper paper pad called DIY Shop, which was one of their lines I believe that they had. And so I just got that. It's a nice kind of like a notebook grid design, almost like a ledger. And I'm going to do most of my design on the big main part and then just kind of leave the top the way it is. So I pulled blues and yellows because those are our sorority colors. And I'm going to do like a square in the middle, but I'm going to do it out of these four pieces of paper. So I want it to be a six by six square. So I took a six by six piece of paper from a paper pad and I cut it in half into triangles and I'm using that kind of as a template. And... I'm going to use those to kind of make my own little square in the middle. However, as I'm doing this here, it's not going to work out. The sizes don't come out the correct way, so I'm going to have to redo it a little bit, but it will end up working the way I want it to. So as you can see, I have these, and I'm like, what am I doing? This is not, that's a diamond. And <laughs> The problem is I have those hearts, and I'm trying to get them to work so that they're facing up. And so I'm like, okay, so that needs to go there. This needs to go here. This needs to go here. And see, that one's smaller. And then the one with the suns is a lot smaller. So I was like, what am I doing? This didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what's, um, I just, my measurements were not correct. So I'm going to scrap this piece of paper here, the yellow suns. I'm, I'm not going to use that one at all. I'm just going to have to redo, um, some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smallest triangle here and I'm going to use that as a template instead. So I'm going to cut everything else down to make it that same size. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than a six by six, but it ends up working and I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to um, use, like I said, this one and just kind of cut everything down to size. And then I'm going to use this yellow paper here and that will replace the sun paper because even the sun paper still wasn't going to work. It just wasn't big enough for what I was looking for. So I'm just going to cut those down and then I will have four triangles of paper and then I'm going to use those to create a square. And that will be the base for my picture. Okay, so I'm going to mount my picture on this little card here that's a really pretty floral and I'm just going to use that as my picture mat. And then I have this really long piece of basic gray paper that has some red in it. And it, our picture has red in it as well. Those are not part of our sorority colors, but there's a lot of red balloons and a couple of the girl shirts are red. So um, 
I'm going to help bring that out from the picture. And I'm going to use that as kind of a back banner there that's going to go all along the paper. And what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to mount this and do like a second photo mat. So I'm going to do that and then I will cut off the branding strip here and then I'm going to cut around the picture and then use the other two ends to make it look like that banner is going all across the paper. So it'll look just like it just did, but I have cut it down instead. <laughs> and that's a really good way to, you know, get the most out of your scraps. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my triangles down. I am gonna use my ruler just to mark out the middle um, here, just to make sure I'm centered. And then I will start doing this. So when you put all these three triangles with their points in the center, it just makes one big square and then you have four different patterns represented and it's really cute. I really like the way that it turned out. I'm kind of erasing my pencil lines <laughs> if there's some on there as well. And this top one was a little bit harder to center for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit more layering on the bottom here. And on the back of one of these triangles, I have this really pretty floral. So I'm going to cut just a little strip and I'm going to use that along the bottom to help bring out the blues and the reds and everything. And then I have a couple other little pieces of paper that I had pulled as well that I'll use on the top and the bottom. But while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and work on my title. My title is going to be Jersey Girls because those are jerseys that we're wearing and those Alphabet stickers are from We Are Memory Keepers, and they're called Harvest, and they're really, really cute. I really like them a lot. They're really pretty, um, kind of like an ombre yellow chevron. Okay, so now I have this little scrap piece of paper here. I cut the branding strip off of it. Um, I had two little pieces, so I'm going to go ahead and use those up, and I'm going to use a little bit on the top and on the bottom. I do have to pull up this a little bit to get this underneath. I made it work. And I'm going to add some more adhesive because it was just kind of not really staying the way I needed it to. There we go. And then I'll put a little bit at the top here as well. And then I have this little strip. I uh, don't know where that came from, but, <laughs> but it's blue and it has some black on it, so it worked. And I'm going to put my title right above the square here. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to overlap it on the square or not, but I decided not to. But I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to do a double outline just around the square. I'm not going to go over the red paper. It's just going to go behind. Just bring a little bit more emphasis to the square there. And as you can see, I'm just trying to decide do I want it on top or do I want it overlapping the square. But I decided on top is better. It takes up a little bit more room up there since I'm not doing any embellishing at the top. So it just kind of helps... Um, Keep that in there. So I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive on these as well and got my title down. So now I'm thinking about um, die cuts and embellishing and what all I want to put on here. I do have these enamel dots from Twine and Ink that I know I definitely want to use up. Um, I'm going to use up the gold, but I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to use here. So I pull out these Pink Fresh Studio uh, transparent words, and I took out a little yellow word that says awesome, and that's going to fit nicely right next to my picture. I also have this American Crafts little die cut bin here, and I'm going to pull out a couple things from one of Chamel's lines, and one says shine, and then one says we all deserve to twinkle. And those have blue and yellow, which are perfect. So I'll use those as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting this stuff down because I like it. Um, so I'm going to put down my awesome with some 
my, with my ATG. I normally try to do something a little bit better <laughs> than that, but I it was in an awkward spot and it just, there wasn't really any other way for me to put it down and it won't fit through my Xyron because it's too um, wide, so it's okay. Okay, so I got those down, got my die cuts down. I am going to definitely use those enamel dots, but I remembered I pulled these Teresa Collins Tiny Gold Alphabet stickers, and I'm going to use these to spell out Phi Sigma Sigma, which was my sorority. So I'm just going to put that right above my title here. So Phi Sigma Sigma Jersey Girls. And now I'm going to use these enamel dots. And it has these two little floral almost pieces. I don't even know what those are supposed to be, but I'm going to use them to outline my title there and then I will use up the gold dots along in around in the layout as well. I also have this uh, Maggie Holmes shine chipboard piece here um, that I'm getting down to the very end of it so I'm trying to use it up here but I pulled a couple stars and then this blue and gold circle so I'm just going to use these here as well just to kind of highlight a few things. I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. I'm going to do it over here to the right, and um, I'm going to kind of do a play on Mean Girls where they say, on Wednesdays we wear pink, and I'm going to put on Fridays we wear jerseys, because that was the day that we wore our jerseys. And then I will use these enamel dots here. I'm just going to use up all the gold. And then that's going to complete my layout. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, I will have a link to all of Jen's classes in the description below if you guys want to check them out. I really, really highly recommend them. They've been really fantastic. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.